hey guys welcome back to another one of my video on my youtube channel growing orchids in jamaica i know i haven't been posting a lot lately guys but you know how it is when you have to juggle everything and you do most things on your own and that's why i haven't been posted so today i want to do a video on how to care for your oncidium orchids and so guys if you are new to my channel please hit that subscribe button so you see just how i grow orchids in jamaica the oncidium orchids are blooming up now a lot of them are spiking so if you want to see just what oncidium orchids i have blooming just stay tuned. So guys, welcome back. Yes, I am going to be showing you just what is happening with some of my Oncidium orchids at this time. Some time ago, I did a video on growing Oncidium orchids in Jamaica. But today, I will be speaking to you about how I actually care for my Oncidium orchids. Now, look what I have here, guys. This is a time when they will spike a lot or spike up. If you notice here, I have quite a number of spikes right here. But these orchids, they tend to bloom more so now. However, throughout the entire year, you will get blooms from them. And that tends to happen with mine. What I realized though is that I really prefer to grow in an area that is high in terms of humidity. And I realize that I get better result when I grow them under that condition. So if you look here, all right, I did set up this tower and what I'm doing, because the sun has shifted now, I am putting them back here, especially those that are in bloom. But for the most part, where I grow them normally, I grow them in an area that is semi-shaded. They grow under 50% mesh and that area has a high humidity. So let me just show you some of those that I have blooming here. This one here, it's not a big plant, but it is doing its thing. And it ha has actually been blooming for some time now. I don't have the ID for it. And so I am unable to tell you exactly what it is, but it is indeed a beautiful one that has been blooming for me for some time now. This is a close-up shot of it. And I just think it is a really beautiful one. This one I have in a plastic pot and it does pretty well in the plastic pot. The medium I have it in is my regular medium. I usually combine the tree fern root bark with the river stone or construction gravel and a bit of charcoal and they seem to do well in that medium some of them i have here in hanging baskets they tend to dry out a little quicker than when i have them in the plastic pot and so guys what i do and i have been trying this for a little while now i and i'm seeing some results i am actually lining the bottom of the mesh basket with something that will retain moisture because when they're in the baskets they tend to dry out pretty quickly and the oncidium orchids don't like to dry out completely even though if they dry out completely they can be forgiving and they will bounce back and they will still do well for you now this one that i have at the top here is actually a pulmonara and such a beautiful one look at the color how stunning and nice that is so this one here also in a hanging basket but um i believe this one is in a plastic pot and i just place it in this basket 
so it has on some other spikes here and this one is one that is actually opened and indeed a beautiful one this one i featured in my last video and of course i couldn't help but feature it again in this one because it just tend to always bloom once the blooms the old blooms are off it sends out some others and right now it has on two spikes and it is indeed beautiful i keep this one actually on the bench under the almond tree but because it's blooming so nicely and i wanted this area to be played up a bit i actually took it up and place it here just so that i can enjoy the bloom so i'm gonna show you what the oncidium bloom looks like when it is actually bloomed off let me show you so this one if you notice here the because this one was actually out in the open and the rain affected it and that's why you'll notice the spots on it so this spike i will definitely have to remove but i'm gonna show you one that has just opened up and so here is one guys that recently opened up and it is just such a beautiful one guys so it's the BLLRA Tahoma Glacier East Sea and it is just an awesome one guys I think this is a really special one I bought this many years ago and now I have a few plants of it once it blooms I tell you it just steals the show it takes all the attention because it is such a beautiful beautiful one guys and I, I really don't think the camera is actually doing any justice to it but nevertheless guys this is what it looks like if you notice the pattern in the center of it how awesome it is and the flower is actually quite large in comparison to most oncidium plants look at it in comparison to my hand so you'll notice that it is really a big one and such a beautiful one i get blooms from it several times for the year and i just love this one guys i hope you love it too this one was featured in my last video on oncidium orchids where i did show color of the pseudobulb that it is actually darkish in color so this one has two spikes on it guys they're not fully opened I, and it is beautiful and i just thought i would include it into this video perhaps when it is fully opened i will do a short video just to show you exactly what it looks like when it is in full bloom but if you notice here you will see the different stages of the flower buds right so down here is the area that i keep most of my oncidium orchids along with some others i have some hanging and most of them are placed on the bench now how do i care for them i actually water them depending on the time of year twice per week and i fertilize them at least once per week this is another one which is the heaven scent this one is similar to the Shari Baby, guys, and it smells oh so like a cup of hot chocolate. Isn't this beautiful? Yes, guys. If you notice, some of them will have yellow leaves. Some of them, um, the leaves are really green. Some of them, the leaves are damaged. And this happens as a result of different things sometimes because of the sunlight because i realize that these oncidium orchids most of them really do not like direct sunlight unless you have them acclimatized over a period of time but for the most part they prefer to be semi-shaded and different things will affect their leaves and so what i do when i see the leaves looking like this i literally cut it off below the area so that it doesn't spread whatever it is because this to me looks like 
some form of disease and so for it not to spread i will cut that off so guys you know i usually have a star plant right so of course today i am going to introduce you to my star plant this is my oncidium twinkle yes guys it is my oncidium twinkle fragrance fantasy and of course this is actually a small plant it is just about six to eight inches tall and for me it blooms just once per year but i have been told that it can bloom just about any time throughout the year but i have not had that experience but let me tell you something once it blooms it, it puts on this nice display because it blooms profusely the flowers are really scented and they are just about one inch so guys i have to give you the story behind this one in 2015 hnl agro imported some plants so of course when they import their plants we are plant growers and we would rush the plants and so forth so what happened because these were so tiny they were so small persons did not buy it up as much as they would hope so a lot of them were left back and some were really dying a few days after that i was going through one of my orchid care book and lo and behold guys in the book i saw this nice specimen so when i looked at it i said but isn't this the same plant that hnl agro just brought in so of course you know the following day i went down to hnl agro and i bought all the plants that they had left there because i realized how showy this plant could be even though we were not seeing that when you look at the specimen that they had there so guys here it is a few years later where i place it actually in a rectangular pot and of course it's the same medium that i use for all the other plants the fern root bark with the river stone and the charcoal and of course i keep this one under 50 percent mesh and the area is humid and so guys this is a result of it isn't this a beautiful one just look at that i i just love it and it is scented and i of course had to show this to you this morning because this is just awesome and to me it looks just like the one i saw in the book a few years ago and i am just so happy 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 guys because of the result that i got based on this guys you would realize that oncidium orchids are really super easy to grow they adapt well to intermediate temperature and of course i grow them outdoor i know some persons will grow theirs indoor depending on where you are because some persons have very cold winter and of course that affects the plants but i'm in a tropical island and so my winter is not as intense and so my plants they do stay on the outdoor i only take them indoor when i want to really enjoy the blooms and so this one as it is right now is in front of my veranda just behind my vanda orchid tower so this one is the oncidium gold dust it's not in such a good condition but i'm sure in another year or so it will look similar to my other oncidium twinkle right because what happened because i realized that when i put it in this big pot i can really get it to put on a nice show so i decided to put all the little small ones that i had and i broke it up and i planted it in this pot but i was just so excited about it that i had it um, close to the front of my home where it was getting direct sunlight and guys did not enjoy that at all and so if you notice here some of the leaves are damaged or were damaged and also i perhaps it it wasn't getting enough water 
and that also created some of the problems that you would notice right here so eventually when i realized what was happening i literally took it up and then took it to my semi-shaded area and if you notice here i'm getting some new growth i'm getting some lovely new growth guys so i know in short order and even with that <laughs> you notice it has on a few spikes and it's blooming right here so i know that this one too has some potential and i just can't wait for it to become nice and bouncy and bunchy like the other one but of course when you're orchid growers you just have to be patient this one is gonna be my project so you will see what it looks like in a few months from now so what i find if these orchids are not getting enough water the pseudobulbs and other areas tend to dry up and this is what will happen and that is why it is so important that they get enough moisture but all in all, we just clean this up, take these out, clean the plant up. So once you do that, add a little more medium to it. The plant is very forgiving and so it will definitely rebound. And so this is what the plant should actually look like. This is a healthy plant with healthy, nice rooting system. Here is another with healthy, nice rooting system and quite clean free from disease in order to keep the leaves clean and free from fungus and so forth i will spray at least perhaps seven sometime every other week with some fungicide and i only spray with insecticide lately when i see insect so i have refrained from using insecticide on a routine basis what i do now i wait until i see signs of insects and then i will spray with an insecticide and the insecticide that i'm using now i try to use something that is organic with low toxicity and so the one that i am using now i'm actually using the organocide which is a three in one spray and it is actually made with different oils so that is the one i'm using right now so that is what i use to cure them and the organocide will also help to prevent the leaf spots and so forth because it is oil based so again i have these here on this vertical stand and i really hope you enjoyed this video this is not their permanent home but i am trying different strategies to ensure that they can stay here and survive so guys if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and so you never miss another video please subscribe to my channel and as we say in Jamaica just alabakami this is the orchid duck and I am growing orchids in Manchester Jamaica thank you for watching hello guys